Hey guys, Gamezak here, and welcome to my top 10 PC simulation games to watch in 2016. Now, simulation games have a multitude of subgenres and aren't just about replication. They simulate real or fictional systems or models for us to play with in believable ways. Well, it's time you get in the loop and optimize yourself for these upcoming titles. First up, we've got Planet Coaster by Frontier Developments. Here is some competition to Theme Park Studio, which I mentioned last year. This game is meant to be a spiritual successor to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Do the expected building of a theme park and share your creations through what they're calling the Global Village. When it comes to these creative and management simulations, it's all about having enough depth to keep you playing. The trailer looks very charming, but they're also asking for pre-orders before we've seen any gameplay. I'd wait to have a proper look before jumping on this ride. Next, we have Riot Civil Unrest by Leonard Menchiari and IV Productions. A riot simulator with a beautifully gritty pixel art style. The game is based on real events that have influenced Western civilization in recent history, with four main campaigns set in Italy, Greece, Spain, and Egypt. You will experience various movements and revolutions from the perspectives of both the populace and authorities. Each character on screen would be generated with a look and psychology, along with physics-based movement. An in-game level editor is also planned, making way for user-generated content. Beta is meant to be available at the end of 2015, but full release will probably take a bit longer. We can hope that gameplay lives up to its concept. Then we have RimWorld by Ludeon Studios. Here we have a sci-fi colony construction and management sim in the vein of Prison Architect. RimWorld has been playable for a couple years now, but it's another title that's been in early access and alpha all this time. You start with three survivors and need to build up a formidable home to survive the harsh environment. An AI storyteller controls the flow of the game and there are some interesting mechanics when it comes to management and combat. Now with animal taming, traps, seasons and alcohol, upcoming developments should continue to improve the game and its complexity. Next up, we have Besiege by Spiderling Studios. A title that's been making waves all through 2015, Besiege has received overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. Construct medieval siege engines and lay waste to fortresses and hamlets in this physics-based game. Despite its good reception, the game is still a little bare and is in alpha. And as with any early access title, anything could happen between now and full release. Will additional content be able to keep this game going or has it already run out of steam? We'll see in the coming year. And then we have Medieval Engineers by Keen Software House. A sandbox game where you can design, construct, and maintain medieval architecture and machinery, utilizing a realistic, volumetric, physics-based engine that takes structural integrity into account, you'll be able to build cities, castles, and siege engines in creative or survival mode. The game is from the same developers as Space Engineers, and both titles are currently in early access. Developing two titles in tandem has a risk of neither being completed. However, both seem to be coming along quite nicely, so we can hope that development continues continues smoothly. Next, we have The Guild 3 by Golem Labs. In this trade life simulation set in the Middle Ages, you create a family dynasty through acquiring businesses, producing goods, trading, along with meddling in societal aspects such as politics, love, and corruption. Intentions are to have a kind of story quest, secret societies, multiplayer, and a scenario editor. Not much has been revealed yet aside from a few screenshots, but release is currently scheduled for 2016. We'll have to wait and see if gameplay will be able to to build upon and improve compared to its predecessors. Then we have next car game Wreckfest by Bugbear Entertainment. From the original creators of Flatout and meant to be a spiritual successor to it, Wreckfest is a demolition derby styled racing game. Upgrade your vehicle and race or crash into others in this over the top high octane racer. It did try to gain traction on Kickstarter, but it failed to hit its mark, so it went into the Technology Alpha Early Access model and has seen more success. The cars have soft body damage modeling, so damage and destruction should be location-based, realistic, and satisfying. It's looking good, but it still has a long way to go. And next, we've got Flat Out 4 Total Insanity by Kyloton Games. Now, as I mentioned Flat Out, a new game in the series has actually been announced too. Not much official has been released, but Kyloton Games is meant to develop it. It's still unclear whether the game will be able to live up to the franchise, and many are hoping it's more like the second game rather than the last one. The website also looks a little... bare. 
It's definitely one to watch, but I'll exercise caution with this one, as it is with a new developer and might not be what fans of the series are expecting. Then we have Project Cars 2 by Slightly Mad Studios. Now, I'm gonna talk about a controversial one for your awareness. Project Cars 2 is meant to be a variety multidiscipline racing sim with 50 unique locations and 200 courses, along with a co-op career, and it's being crowdfunded like its predecessor. However, Project Cars 1 only just released and has its share of issues. It's still buggy and lacks replayability. It sold a million copies, so people are asking what happened to all the money and why are they still running crowdfunding? It's normal to be developing the next game while the first game comes to a close, but why wasn't all this content in Project Cars 1 or maybe develop an expansion to improve the first game? Whatever the case, I would hold off from jumping on this crowdfunding campaign. Finally, we have American Truck Simulator by SCS Software. A driving simulator that's been making waves and is parallel to Euro Truck Simulator. This time we head to the USA to drive trucks and deliver cargo. For those unfamiliar, this series of truck simulators might at first appear to be another run-of-the-mill simulator game. But in this case, they have developed a positive reputation for complexity, detail and depth. So, if this is your thing, it's time to get into the driver's seat and work your way up creating the largest transportation company in the United States. Now, most of these games should be releasing in 2016, but either way, you should keep an eye on developments to see if these games will systematically succeed or simulate a fail state. And to wrap up, here's something I'd like to know. How do you define what's a simulation game? Do you follow a dictionary definition of simulation, or does being a game make it more flexible? There are a lot of arguments every year on this, so I'd like to know your opinion. Alright, that wraps up my top 10 PC simulation games to watch in 2016. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.